Here's the Toyota 4K engine being operated by the homemade ignition system. The ignition system has four coils that replace the single coil and distributor. There's no one on a car of this or an engine of this um, vintage. So the four coils there. And the computer down there with this diagnostic light. They let me know whether the timing sequence is working as it should. This part replaces the distributor. It has a spinning disc that tells the computer about the position of the uh, engine's crankshaft so as it knows when to fire those coils. And the coils are connected directly to those sparklet bulbs. So one wire from each coil up to the engine and away it goes. The way this is configured is capable of idling at an insanely slow rate of speed. It's, I guess it's doing around about 400 rpm at the moment and uh, as a result it's nice and quiet. This is going to serve as a generator and uh, as a result of the way it's going to work for me I want it to run quietly so I don't have complaints from neighbouring farms about the amount of noise being made. Now to make this thing work it's running on petrol at the moment. I could run it on gasoline but petrol seems to work better. Now it should last about a week on that at this rate of speed. But the idea really is to run it on wood gas. This strange looking contraption isn't uh, a moonshine still, <laughs> but it is a wood gasifier. The idea is that uh, the wood fuel is put in at the top of this pipe, runs down to a burner in here where a small amount of air is admitted. Uh, not enough to cause proper combustion, just enough to get rich smoke that comes out of here, enters this um, cyclone tube. It's a straight long tube as opposed to a funnel because I don't have the right gear for the job, but I think it will do. The uh, cyclone gas comes out of here down to the bottom of the neighbouring tube and this tube is just hollow. The idea being to start the cooling process and begin evacuating moisture uh, from the gas flow. The gas then comes around into the top of the radiator and is withdrawn at the bottom of it where there's also another drain valve here to let the moisture out. I've got a bunch of fans on here that produce quite a strong breeze so I'm hoping that they will cool these down pipes enough to produce cool enough gas for the job. The gas having been taken from here is drawn up through this pipe and down round the corner and into a filter that will occupy this area here. The filter will have uh, wood shavings and whatever else I can find, maybe even hay in there. Plus also I've um, developed a set of blast gates for the filter but at the moment it's nowhere near finished so I can't show you that. Then on from the filter, just imagine the filter's here, 600 odd millimetres tall. The gas goes down to the engine through a bubbler that I'm thinking of bubbling the gas through motor oil or something like that. That should serve two purposes. It will help get rid of any residual grit and should uh, should prevent backfiring. As uh, I'm not too happy about the idea of a, um, a dirty great explosion ruining my day and perhaps making uh, a mess of the uh, generator system. So, so far so good. Going to the engine, this is a Toyota 4K 1300cc four cylinder engine. It's uh, 1986 vintage, so that makes it a real antique. It's um, pretty much a standard engine except what I've done over here. I, ha I did that as for two reasons really. One, to replace the distributor because I've broken the damn thing. And two, because I thought it would be a good idea to try it. Now, the uh, exhaust system on this normally would go that away towards the rear of the vehicle. I've changed it all around so it no goes forward. It's a homemade muffler. It's made from six millimeter thick steel pipe and it's built along the lines of a motorcycle muffler. 
the result is that it's very effective at silencing the engine. Um, when you're about maybe 30 or 40 feet away from the engine, you can't hear it. And uh, that's how an engine should be as I see it. Nice and quiet. I don't know where the camera's picking this up, but there's a lot of vibration happening here. I'm actually hoping to put that vibration to use. What it will do is help shake all the ash and other stuff around in the gasifier down here to help separate things out. Um, if that doesn't work, the next thing is this lead screw in here that allows me to, from outside, move that grate around and around and up and down. There's going to be an electric motor that will do that to make it automatic. But that's the backup plan uh, if the vibes from the engine aren't enough to get the job done. Um, it's all very experimental at the moment. I've never done anything like this before. But the internet is full of um, good news stories about the level of success possible with even simple designs like this one. So, fingers crossed that one of these days I'll be able to feed this engine on this stuff over here. That is the gasoline of the future. Bits and pieces of wood that I've chopped up. Now, uh, to make the fuel, the output of the engine here is going to be fed into a circular saw that will be about here, so I can push wood into it to cut and also one of these other pulleys will be used to run some alternators to provide a couple of kilowatts of electricity for the household system. So that's the uh, walk around I suppose of the Gasogen Mark 1 and I'm hoping one of these days to put up a video showing the success of this project. Now I've got this little saying that goes something like if at first you don't succeed, hide all evidence of your failures. <laughs> Cheers fellas.